Hi and welcome to Movies Remastered. There's not going to be a Star Wars video today because as you can see I'm setting up a new studio and I'm only halfway through. But I thought I'd going to, well, I've got to talk about the uh, Snyder Cut Justice League drop today. And, well, well, what a win. What a massive win for the fandom. For everybody that wanted to see this film happen and what an amazing payoff. Now I'm not going to do any spoilers in this video. I just want to say how amazing I thought it was. Now I'm not really a DC movie fan. I like the comics. I'm not really really a big fan of the movies. I found them a little bit out of place, slightly boring. I don't think they ex executed them really well. And as a fan editor, there really wasn't that much for me to play with. Um, so I kind of just left them alone. But I feel like if we would have got this Snyder Cut back when the theatrical version was released, it would have set up, it would have set the DCU up so much better than they actually did. We got full flushed out characters in this movie. Obviously it was four hours, but it never really felt like that. I never got bored. You know, I never felt my eye wandering or wanting to check my phone like I do in other DC movies. It was absolutely incredible. The way that they, I mean, Ben Affleck, I was never a real big fan of the way that they allowed Ben Affleck to be Batman, but I really, I loved his character in this. The way that he played that character was absolutely incredible. They all were. I feel like at some parts of the, um, the Cyborg um, origin story, obviously that's now been flushed out in um, TV shows and things like that, so that bit did feel a little bit like, like it dragged slightly. Um, hopefully these don't include the uh, spoilers, but obviously we, they are going to try and flush out these characters. I feel like if we had have had that at the beginning, then it would have definitely set up um, series like uh, Doom Patrol and things like that. Um, that was great for me. I'm also not a big fan of The Flash, but I liked him in this. I thought his character was fantastic. I thought the, the comedy, the witty banter, I thought that was perfect. Worlds away from where they were in Disney Star Wars. Like that, the, the banter and the jokes in that were really off key, but I thought they really got it amazing. Hit the nail on the head with this one. And I just loved it, even the special effects. The, the VFX, the CGI, compared to the theatrical version, to this cut, absolutely worlds apart. Completely different. I love the fact that Snyder didn't want to use any footage that he didn't film himself. He didn't take any of that from the theatrical version. They've gone back in, redone them. Steppenwolf, and Dark Side, incredible characters now. They looked a bit, I don't know, I don't know. They just look really weird in the theatrical version, but they they really, really made those characters strong. The the chainmail or whatever the, the suit was, Stephen Wolf was animated absolutely perfect. And a big shout to my friend Charlie. She actually made Stephen Wolf's axe and um, a lot of the weapons in this movie. So that wasn't, um, that wasn't released in the theatrical version, but she made these way back in the day, so she managed to get to see her work. So I'm so proud of you. Well done, lovely. <laughs> it was incredible to see that. But yeah, in overall, this movie was a huge, huge achievement for everybody involved, and that includes all of the fans that were behind it. I absolutely loved it. I like the way that they broke it down into different parts, um, kind of flushed out the, the, the characters, like I said. The, the score was slightly weird. I, I thought some of the song placements didn't really push the, the narrative or do anything for the scene while it was there. Maybe that could, could have been tweaked, but yeah, overall, absolutely incredible. I love what they've done with Superman. And, you know, like I say, even, um, can we talk about the Joker? I suppose we can talk about the Joker. It was in the, the, the trailer. I'm, I'm so glad they gave Jared Leto a, another chance at this. Hopefully that's now going to encourage some more spin-offs and he can play that character to how he, want, uh, how he wanted because the whole Suicide Squad thing, I don't think there was enough of his footage in there to really flush that character out. And it kind of didn't really, it didn't sit well with me. But hopefully now this new look for the Joker and the direction they're going with that Let's see where that goes. Is uh, Snyder going to come back for a part two? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought of the movie. Hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this video. I'm still trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So click subscribe if you haven't already. And check to, to see if you have subscribed before. Some I've noticed that some of my subscriptions to other YouTubers have uh, been removed. So I've had to go back in and resubscribe. But yeah, let me know what you thought about this, uh, this cut. 
Was it a triumph? Was it a success? Was it worth four hours of your time? Let me know in the comments. I'll be back soon with a Star Wars video, but until then, take care of yourself. I'll see you again next time.